Yo, what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, we're talking about the new feature, Report Tool Tips. Stay tuned. Okay, Report Tool Tips, what? This was a great new, a great new feature in the latest release of the desktop. Amanda talks about it at length in a video. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. Um, and so, why are you doing one? Because I want to, not only that, because my buddy, my best friend, my cohort, my buddy Adam Saxon, the other guy in the cube, right? He said, it's his favorite feature. So I said, why not do a video for him? You know, report two tips. They're awesome, they're nice, they're great. I love them. So, not a whole bunch of talking in this video. You guys know how I do. The best way for me to show you is to what? Head over to my laptop. All right, so a nice report created here. Wait, wait, I gotta say this. Thanks Equal Dusty for hooking up my report. Looks nice, look great. Think it may go through another iteration pretty soon. You gotta stay tuned. Anyway, all right, back to my report. So what do you do? The first thing you need to do is create your two tip page. All you need to do is go over to the desktop, click plus. Here's the page that you wanna create. I'm gonna make my two tip like this. Click on the rolling pin, expand out page information, turn on two tip. And we're gonna call this school, I'm gonna call this just a school tip, right? School tip. Then we'll collapse that and we'll go to our page size and we'll change it to two tip, right? Now, I like to do this because it lets me know ex exactly how this is gonna look, right? You can switch between views. So if I go to, you know, fit to page, right? That's how big it is, but that's not actually how it's gonna look on the hover of the element or the report. So I'm gonna change this to actual size because this is actually how it's gonna look when you ho hover over a bar or something like that in your report. Okay, so now the page is set up and all you need to do now is design. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna choose selected school name. I'm gonna drop it right there, make it a nice little card. It's cool, right? It's cool, we'll put it right there and then we'll format this out. I'm not gonna spend a whole bunch of time formatting this out. And then we're gonna make a bar chart and we're gonna look at student count by school. Perfect, right? So there's my little two tip. Some can argue that I could have done a better job designing it, but you know what? That's what I wanna do. Okay, so now I had the two tip design. So how do I make it appear? How do I make it magically appear when I hover over like a bar or a line or something like that? Well, let's go back to a report, an existing report where it's already created, okay? So if I hover over, this, you can see uh, you got the basic standard tooltip that's been out ever since Power BI Desktop was released, right? But now we got this new sexy one. Ooh, I like it a lot. This new sexy tooltip. So watch this. So I'm gonna click on my element, all right? And I'm gonna scroll, click on my paintbrush, click on my <laughs> format icon, right? And expand tooltip, and I'm gonna turn it on. And by default, it says auto, okay? So let's see what happens. Hover over it, nothing. Right? Nothing, nothing. Why is it not working? Well, when it's set to auto, you have to do one additional step. So we'll head over to my tooltip and I'm gonna take school name and I'm gonna drop it in my tooltip field. So back to the report where you're designing your tooltip, right? To the tooltip, to the actual thing that's gonna appear when you hover. Identify the column, right? It's a column in my chart and a column in the tooltip. I'm gonna drag it over to my tooltip fields. Then I'll go back to that report, hover over it now and voila, bam, it appears. Notice how I'm on Contoso Middle School, it's only showing me the attendance for Contoso Middle School. Then I do it this way, right? Like that, same thing, right? Contoso Elementary, Contoso High School. It just works, okay? But you're saying, Patrick, wait a minute. So you're telling me I gotta set this field? No, you really don't. It's, it'll only work for that specific field. No, that's not true. Check this out. If I go here and go back to my two-tip option and turn it on, and say, you know what, show the school tip. Then I hover, bam, right? And it's only gonna show that slice of that data. So that's how it works. If you switch, right, if you specify the tool tip field, explicitly, it's gonna work, you know, for a given element when it's set to auto. Um, if, that, if that attribute is not in that element, it's just not gonna display it. However, right, you can manually go and turn it on and say, hey, show the tool tip for this one. Like for example, if I went to this nice tool tip that Dustin created, you can see this one. Take a peek at this, you know, grade level guy. This guy is set to what? The tool tip is set to what? 
right? I'm gonna change it to auto, okay? I'm changing it to auto. And then I'm gonna go over to this fancy little tooltip, drag course name. I think it's course name. It'd be so embarrassing if it's not. It's not, it is actually grade <laughs> that I'm going after. We drag grade there and watch this. Remember, this is set to auto, right? This tooltip is set to auto. Now when I hover, it's gonna automatically pick up the one where I explicitly drag grade into the tooltip option, right, on my tooltip page. What do you think about these two tips? Adam loves them, and I gotta be honest, so do I, right? Keep it coming, product team. You got any questions, comments, you're doing some things differently with the two tips, let me know. Post it in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, be sure to subscribe. And always, from Adam and Patrick, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bam, one take.